Ever found yourself wrestling with the task of transforming your stunning images into captivating, animated stories? Picture the frustration of possessing incredible visuals, but lacking the wizardry to bring them to life. That's precisely where AI animation tools like Runway Gen 2 and Pika Collapse 1.0 come into play. Today, we embark on a journey through the world of image-to-video creation, comparing two powerhouses in this realm, Runway Gen 2 and Pika Collapse 1.0. These tools aren't just apps, they're creative wands that effortlessly turn static pictures into moving tales. But deciding which wand suits your style, that's the real adventure we're diving into today. Let's start with Runway Gen 2. Picture this. The free plan offers 125 credits, empowering users to create concise yet impactful animations. Accessible via Runway.ml, this platform encourages users to upload images as the initial scene frame and craft detailed descriptions, enhancing the precision of the output. And here's where the magic happens. Adjustments in parameters such as motion intensity and camera controls allow for nuanced customization. But the real gem? The Motion Brush, a standout feature that enables precise, area-specific motion control, adding finesse to your creations. For general motion, manipulating the intensity of motion is key. Higher values result in more significant motion. I usually keep it around or under 5, but experimenting is encouraged. Additionally, controlling camera motion through the panel by moving the slider grants a preview of its appearance. The motion brush feature in Runway Gen 2 is my favorite aspect, allowing specific area control. Brush over the desired image area and adjust the parameters, horizontal, vertical, and proximity sliders, acting as an X, Y, and Z grid for movement and depth. To get started, click on the motion brush button. Begin by brushing over the area of the image you want to control. If you need to adjust your brush size, use the slider provided. If you accidentally paint too large an area, you can switch to the eraser tool or use the undo arrow at the top. You can also redo if you go back too many steps. Once you have a basic mask, move down to the motion control settings, horizontal, vertical, and proximity. Think of these settings as an X, Y, and Z grid. On the X axis, horizontal movement, adjust to move your subject left or right in the frame, negative values move left, positive values move right. On the Y axis, vertical movement, control how your subject moves up or down, negative values move down, positive values move up. Finally, on the Z axis, proximity, adjust how your subject moves closer or farther away from the camera. Negative values move farther away, positive values move closer. Each slider ranges from 0 to 10, with 0 implying no motion along that axis and 10 indicating maximum motion. You can input numerical values in the text field or use the slider controls. To reset any slider, simply click the arrow to return it to 0. If you need to reset everything within the Motion Brush UI, use the Clear button. It resets everything, including your mask. Once you've set your mask and movement controls, click Save to save the mask and return to Gen 2. Now, click Generate to bring the masked area of your image to life. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We've got more AI tips coming your way. Now, let's shift gears to Pika Labs' web version. Here, simplicity reigns supreme. Users are encouraged to input clear descriptive prompts ensuring unambiguous instructions for the AI. The setup is as user-friendly as a warm cup of cocoa on a winter's night, emphasizing styles like Pixar for optimal output. However, be wary. Higher motion strengths might occasionally yield unexpected outcomes. It's akin to painting a masterpiece. Sometimes, the unpredictable strokes add that touch of uniqueness. To produce videos with Pika Lab, head over to the specified section input your text prompt, and include a reference image or video for today's specific image-to-video generation. Emphasize detailed action descriptions for the animation you wish to create. Adding a style preference like Pixar style and selecting video options allows control over frames per second, motion strength, and camera action. 
I'd recommend keeping the motion strength between 0 to 2 to avoid instability issues where people might morph or disappear in the resulting videos. Experiment with parameters using the provided icons and input negative prompts to prevent undesired outcomes. Consistent outputs can be achieved by using the same seed number and prompts. Note, the C function doesn't work on Discord's web version for text consistency. Higher text relevance via the settings correlates with the output's textual relevance. Once settings are adjusted, click the Start button to initiate the generation process. Post-generation, use the ellipsis icon to add more seconds or upscale the video, similar to Runway's capabilities. Click Retry or Reprompt for further adjustments, or choose Edit for additional fine-tuning options. In the Edit section, specific regions can be modified using the Define box. For instance, changing a yellow shirt to green or adjusting the canvas with preset aspect ratios is feasible. To download, click the Download button after generating the desired video footage. As we compare these platforms, both Runway and Pika Labs offer pathways to creativity, each with its distinct personality. Moreover, their editing features allow tweaking and extending video durations, although delving into the nitty-gritty might reveal their quirks. Pika Labs might encounter slight quality alterations when expanding horizons, while Runway's motion brush stands out as a unique tool for precision-seeking artists. Remember, each tool possesses its quirks and possibilities. Click the links in the description to explore these magical wands yourself. Stay tuned as we unravel more secrets in the realm of AI-driven creativity.